Hello everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Debugging TV Frames program. You can type your questions during this broadcast. If I can't answer particular questions now, I then post answers on the website debugging.tv. In this episode, we cover one case of troubleshooting symbols when we can't find correct symbols or a debugger can't match specified symbols with loaded modules. Suppose we have an application memory dump from a customer. We also have symbols for its main module. Let me show you how we load the dump and apply the corresponding symbol file. So I switch to WinDBG and then I load the dump file Then, I fix symbols from Microsoft Symbol Server. Then I reload all necessary symbols. And then I type K command to list the stack trace. And we see that there are no symbols for this main module. So, we add their path we take the path from version 1 of our application Then we reload again and then type L. Now we see that symbols were correctly loaded and applied and we have very good stack trace. What we do now, we double check it. So we take the return address we take the return address this one and then disassemble it backwards and what we see here is we see that win main function called get message so the stack trace seems to be correct so to summarize to check that the stack trace is correct, we disassemble the return address and check if we see a call instruction. Now, suppose we send an update to our customer by forgot to save symbol files. So we use symbol files from the previous version of our application when we get fresh memory dumps. So we go to WinDBG again. We actually close it. And type launch the new version. So we load another 
crash dump. Do sim fix again. But then what we do, we supply old symbols from the first version. Do reload. And then if we type, if we leave stack trace, we see that it wasn't, the symbols were not applied, were not found, because there is a mismatch. So they were not applied automatically. We now force them to be reloaded and to ignore mismatch between module and symbol file versions or timestamps. So what we do, we now do reload again, but now specify I, ignore and F, force, options, and specify the module name. And now try to list tech trace. We see that we got the same good stack traces. So we can also disassemble the return addresses and we get similar output, like on this slide. This is because the layout of code in our main module hasn't changed since the first version. But suppose we send numerous updates to the customer with some code significantly refactored, added, and some code removed, so the code layout did change. For example, a message loop in main function was moved to a separate function. We show now a similar 32-bit version. So we close dbg, launch the new version. But now, I show you, actually, I open 32-bit dump. What we do here, load the dump file, I do simfix. And we add symbol files from the first version. Then we reload, force, do force reload. mistake. It's okay. What we do, we do el command, and we see stack trace, but it's a bit strange. For example, we see some strange stack frames, stack trace frames, when we try, for example, to disassemble the return address
we see it points to inaccessible code, inaccessible memory. So surely stack trace is not quite right here. And now, now I show you what version 4 stack trace should have looked like if we found and applied the right symbols. So what we do, we go to symbol file path and change to version 4 and do reload. And now we see that symbols were applied automatically. The stack trace looks good and we also see that the original frame, the original, uh, the new frame appears here. So, this is because in the version 4 we moved a message loop from win main function to a separate function called message loop. So, the code changed significantly and this is why when we used old symbol file, the stack trace was incorrect. So now I check if you have any questions. If you have any questions, please type them and I try to answer them on a special page. There's a question, is it possible to modify a PDB file? Uh, never thought about it, but there is um, an SDK uh, from Microsoft. I, I uh, believe it is called Dia, where you can use uh, this SDK, for example, to um, read symbol files uh, and do other stuff. I'll put a link to it uh, on uh, uh, debugging.tv. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we continue with symbols and cover more advanced symbol troubleshooting. Please later check out the slides and recorded video from debugging.tv. I would also appreciate if you suggest debugging topics. I then consider your input when planning and designing future episodes.